Hi, my name is Murray and I'm the product team mechanic here at Ribble Cycles and today I'm going to show you how to remove and refit your wheels with disc brakes and through axles. For this you're going to need a 6mm Allen key and you're also going to need a torque wrench with a 6mm Allen bit. So first of all we're just going to remove the front wheel. So for this you're going to take the flat edge of your Allen key and insert it all the way in to your through axle so it can't go any further just so you prevent any damage on the inside of your axle. Once you've got it in this position, hold on to your wheel and turn your Allen key anti-clockwise or to the left all the way out until it doesn't go any further and then you can just pull that out and then your wheel will just drop out as you can see and that is it. One important thing to remember is when your wheel is out of your bike and you've got your disc brakes is do not pull your brake lever because your pads will close together and you won't be able to get your wheel back in. Okay, so now we're going to refit your wheel. So what you need to do is just get your wheel, insert it in between your forks here and then just make sure that your disc lines up into your disc caliper here and that just inserts there so it goes no further and then get your through axle here insert it from the side, push it through and push it till it doesn't go any further and then we need to be turning clockwise or round to the right like so just until it stops like that, remove that and then we can take your torque wrench again with the 6mm bit in it, insert that again make sure you insert it all the way in as far as you can go and then set it to 10 because that's what the recommended on the torque on these uh, through axles is. And then just make sure that you slowly, very slowly, just tighten that up until it doesn't go any further and it clicks. And that indicates that it's set to the correct torque. And there we go, that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the rear wheel. And for this, you wanna make sure that you're in the bottom cog on your rear cassette. This is just gonna make it easier to get the wheel out, okay? So same thing, it's going to take your 6mm uh, six six Allen key, we're going to insert it as far as we can inside your axle so we prevent damage on the inside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it anti-clockwise or to the left as much as we can until it doesn't come out any further. And then what you'll find is if you hold on to your wheel, you can just remove your through axle and that's it, it's done. So as long as you keep holding on to your, onto your wheel, the wheel will start to drop and then all you need to do is get your derailleur in the back here and just move it out of the way. Don't be afraid, it's not going to do any damage and it'll just drop out like so. Okay, so exactly the same thing as the front wheel. Don't pull your brakes because otherwise the, the pads will close together and you won't be able to get your wheel back in. Alright, now the next step is obviously refitting your, 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 your rear wheel. For this what we're going to do is again, we're just gonna put the wheel inside the rear dropouts like so. And again, don't be afraid of moving your rear derailleur like this. Just push it out the way and make sure that you get your chain lined up with a chain onto the last cog, just like that. And then it should slide in again with your rotor in between your calipers. And then you can just hold it in position like that and that is where it should be. And at this point, this is where you get your through axle. You insert it from the side all the way in. Just push it as far as it will go. And then you need to start turning clockwise or to the right. Just hand tight there. Just remove that. Again, you get your torque wrench. It's already set to 10 because that, again, that's what the recommended torque setting on here. Insert it all the way in. And then we're just going to nice and gently just turn it until it clicks and then that there you go that indicates that we're at the correct torque setting and there we go okay i hope that's been useful for you thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe our youtube channel and stay tuned for more how-to videos thanks again